Recently, many tech websites started reporting about fake HDMI 2.1, that HDMI 2.1 is meaningless, that even HDMI 2.0 products can be labeled as HDMI 2.1. To clear up the confusion, we reached out to the HDMI Licensing Administrator or HDMI LA for some clarification. The first question we asked was whether a television with only HDMI 2.0 ports, for example the LG E8 from 2018, can be called HDMI 2.1. Turns out the answer is no. According to Mr. Brad Bramey, Vice President Marketing and Operations at HDMI LA, a product has to be retested to pass HDMI 2.1 compliance before it can be marketed as HDMI 2.1. So no, all your HDMI 2.0 TVs and monitors haven't suddenly become HDMI 2.1 overnight. But this begs the next question. Can a product with only HDMI 2.0 capabilities pass the HDMI 2.1 compliance testing and obtain HDMI 2.1 certification? The answer is good news for unethical companies and bad news for consumers because as long as a product carries any one of the HDMI 2.1 specifications, which includes many legacy HDMI 2.0 features, and pass the HDMI 2.1 compliance testing, then the product can be marketed as HDMI 2.1, but the supported features needs to be listed. To give you an example, if a hypothetical company let's say Mel G, submits a TV for compliance testing, which has no FRL, no dynamic HDR, no ALLM, no eARC, no VRR or variable refresh rate, no QMS or quick media switching, no QFT or quick frame transport, but supports 3D video, then the TV can be marketed as HDMI 2.1 3D. Which brings us to our next piercing question. What happens to companies which do not list the supported features alongside HDMI 2.1? You can see I'm trying to hone my skills as a political interviewer. The answer given by the HDMI Licensing Administrator or HDMI LA effectively amounts to crowdsourced policing. It's mostly up to us consumers to report violations to HDMI LA, and any investigation is conducted confidentially between HDMI LA and the manufacturer or adopter in question. Given the optional nature of HDMI 2.1 specifications, I have already predicted this messy situation as early as back in 2018, one year after HDMI 2.1 was announced. The chipset is only 2.0, but because it actually supports one of the subset features of HDMI 2.1, the manufacturer is claiming that it is HDMI 2.1, so just look out for it. So how do you avoid getting ripped off when buying a new TV or monitor? My advice is to look specifically for the feature you want, rather than just blindly trusting the HDMI 2.1 label. When talking about HDMI 2.1 on this channel, we always subconsciously associate it with higher HDMI bandwidth permitted by Fixed Rate Link or FRL, which then allows for 4K 100Hz gaming with the Sony PS5 or the Xbox Series X. So when you buy your next TV or monitor, instead of looking for HDMI 2.1, look for 4K 120Hz. The lesson here is to pay attention to the features supported, not HDMI 2.1 per se. You should look for variable refresh rate or VRR if that's important to you. Look for eARC if you need it. Look for auto low latency mode or ALLM if you want your display to switch automatically into game mode when playing games on a compatible console. But an HDMI 2.1 feature being supported doesn't necessarily mean that it's fully working as expected. For example, many televisions with MediaTek HDMI 2.1 SoC can accept 4K 120Hz video signal, but will halve the vertical resolution at 4K 120Hz, or be incompatible with VRR for smoother gameplay. This is where trusted reviewers can provide accurate data to help you make an informed buying decision. On this particular channel, we use specialized equipment to check the HDMI bandwidth of any HDMI 2.1 television we test, whether it's 40 gigabits per second or the full HDMI 2.1 bandwidth of 48 gigabits per second. We have also invested in multiple PS5 and Xbox Series X consoles to test the 4K 120Hz, ALLM, and VRR capabilities of these HDMI 2.1 TVs in real-world gaming, occasionally catching some stuttering or flickering artifacts 
which we have always reported honestly in our reviews. We are also one of the few reviewers who routinely test for full 4K 100Hz resolution using dedicated test patterns, and we haven't shied away from calling out TVs which fail to resolve full 4K 100Hz resolution. Because of our honesty and integrity, some manufacturers prefer not to send us review samples, so if you don't see us reviewing a particularly popular TV, that's probably an ominous sign in itself. Now, if you are worried about buying a fake HDMI 2.1 cable, fortunately, the certification process by the HDMI licensing administrator is more stringent than for displays, and certified cables have to be marketed as ultra high speed HDMI cable. To find out how to check the authenticity of certified cables, go watch my review of the world's first certified HDMI 2.1 cable here.